where's Mary Gimmel? Um, she's on, she's coming. Okay. okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is dispense trash bags, and then honestly, guys, anywhere around here, especially by Denny's, there's lots of uh, trash on the streets. Whatever you see, pick it up, bag it up. And here's the most important thing, before and after pictures. Please take pictures, okay, guys, behind you. Please take pictures of your work. Please take videos. We want to show that we came, we saw, we picked up trash. And uh, should there be any confrontation, should anybody come up to you, remember, we are here out of love. We're not going to give nothing but respect to Did you make that, Brad? That was amazing. Walk away. Like we're walking away from the Democrat Party. Go off to another area. Oh, nice. So again, nice. pictures and videos before and after. We're waiting for trash bags and we'll depart. Okay? okay. Oh, also, also. Fox News is going to come cover this. Yay! That's right. Fox will be here. They're covering the March for Life and they're going to come. So um, if they come to talk to you, just be honest. Why we're out here. It's all about the love. Mm -hmm. So if everybody can come over on this side. One side. <laughs> all right. Photo over here. Can you photo. Photo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Right, you did. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always so Lots of energy. Raise your hand. And switch to video mode. Let's get this gentleman in here. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say one, two, three, and we're going to say we love Oregon. Yeah. Okay. One, two. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold get up. in. Get in. Get in here. Get in here. Okay. One, two, three. We love Oregon. Woo Thank you. Okay, so awesome. Miss Mary's bringing trash bags, and we go. Yes. All right, where's the trash bags at? Where did she? Hey. No. Go ahead. Hey, everybody. Joey Nation's here. We're ready with Oregon Women for Trump to clean up Oregon. Is that right? We've got wonderful volunteers showing up. Scott Ryan Pressler there. Say hi. Everybody's ready to do this. We've got the trash bags. We're ready for action. President oh, we Trump, we're about saving this state. You're fighting for Oregon with us. We're with you 100%. Is everybody ready to vote Trump 2020? Yeah. All right, thank you. All right. Got it. Mom? Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay. I don't need it. I'm gonna fill this up in five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Every team gets six grabbers. Here, you want this? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sure. It's a good idea. Just be careful. 
You know, it's not as bad as I was expecting. But oh, of course, yeah. if they hadn't cleaned up those spots in Portland, it would have been <laughs> really Ooh, something. Man. I grew up in Detroit, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. I won't, that was probably a little worse than this. Yeah, there's some things that are a little crazy. It's, uh, yeah, it's wild. Pretty neat to see how it has cleaned up though, but man, I'll tell you what. Perfect. Okay. Trying to film at the same time, I'm less efficient. <laughs> Some press ons. Some press yeah, on. I could get some of mine did. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be out here and actually be on the ground. Very thankful for what Scott's doing. I was born and raised in the Portland area, and it's just, it makes me sad really to see what's happened in Oregon with the super majority here. The Democrats are running our state into the ground, and it's not like this is like a once unique situation. This is what Democrats do all over the United States of America. This is what they do, especially when they have a super majority, which they did in Virginia. But thank goodness for people like Scott Pressler and for people like our sure. president and for everybody out here willing to do this. And hopefully if we can, not if, but when, we turn the state red and the rest of the country red, we're not going to be seeing this anymore. No. This is, it's not okay, it's sad. Yeah. This isn't the America that any of us grew up in, and it's not the value we were raised in. We just not care about our area and our fellow man. And, you know, it's sad, but it's encouraging today to see this, because this is just the beginning of what's going to happen. It's what we're going to do to keep America great, right? Thank you. Anything you like to say? Oh, not a whole lot. Just really happy to be involved with this. I've uh, been hoping that Scott would come out to Portland. Um, it looks like Portland cleaned up much of the uh, much of the spots that were bad in, in Portland itself. So we had to come down here to Salem, which I thought was kind of funny. You know, it was pretty bad up there before, and now you can't even find trash. Eh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. As long as it Thank you'll change, right? That's all. Oh, matters. absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Just just saying he's coming is enough to uh, get it cleaned up. All right. Hello, I'm Gabriel from uh, Kodiak, Alaska, veteran, this is God of the Army. I just want to say that I'm here with uh, all these Trump supporters who love and care about the state of Oregon and their environment too. If you guys want to join in, you know you guys are more than welcome to join us. And um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Watch the right now, it'll be on Scott's Twitter later, so retweet it. Okay, yeah. Are we doing those in a Sharps container? Yeah, or a Sharps container so we can dispose of them properly? Dispose of them, I don't want to put them in the garbage bag. For the file. Oh no. This has a sticker, so look out. Alright. Yeah. You said you think about doing doing this left? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, huh? Yeah. Who's got the sharp container? We don't know who has it. Okay, well. Did we find? Yeah, I don't. I'm just gonna leave that yeah. there for now and. Stickers, huh? Oh, let's see what we got over here.
Huh? Oh, we could probably fill that up, huh? Well, I'm gonna put the bigger things in it. Oh, okay. So they don't fill up. More needles over here. Oh yeah. They get them everywhere. Thank you. Wait, am I trying to film at the same time and it's kind of cumbersome? <laughs> yeah. Somebody's looking for a sharps container. She's got, yeah, she's got one. Probably. I could believe I used to do that. Oh yeah? Big needles laying around. Yeah. How long did it take you to kick that? I was turning out for 18 years. 18 years? Lived on, lived on the streets on and off. Huh. Well, I've been sober and clean for 14. Good for you. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, it's not easy to do. Yeah, yeah. It's a miracle after the Lord done me. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the Lord does some of his best Amen. My wife and my mother both had a missing person out on me. Praise God, here I am. Here Your wife's me. sick with you? Huh? No, she didn't. She was done, but we're friends now. Oh, that's good at least. Yeah. She, she talks to me and that's a miracle. My son was right here. I'm a drug and alcohol counselor now at the number one treatment center in the world. Yes, I am. Hazel and Betty Ford Foundation. There's a needle right there, watch out. Yeah, there's no needle. Oh, there's it's been over. That's where I work. With the Oh, yeah. Right on, yeah. I direct people to that meeting every time there's a meeting. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're so bad. <laughs> Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> you? I'm having a ball. Awesome. You need any help with that or you got it? Got it. I'm on a roll. You're on a roll. On Call a roll. her butter because she's on a roll. Oh, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> hey guys, can you hear me five by five? Uh, on a Saturday. Hi. People probably think we're crazy. We're doing this for fun. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for supporting the work that I do and uh I already told this guy, I guess I got to come back on Patriot Soapbox, so I look uh, forward to seeing you guys again. <coughs> That's awesome. We commend you. Oh, Thank you. Can we back the trailer up in here? Did, did we make a pile here? Is that what that is, or is that already there? You know, I don't think it was already there, but you, maybe we should just pull the trailer over and throw yeah. them in. Bye. All right. Bye. God bless you. God bless. Thank you, Scott. We're happy to do it. Happy All right. to do it. Love you guys. Just wanted to Bye. interject there for a minute. I thought you'd dig that. Sorry to okay, interrupt the music for a moment. Interlude. No, 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 no. Anytime. All right. Love y'all. Bye. You go. You're, you're the guy with the trailer, right? Yes, I am. Do we want to just? Uh, I'm pulling the trailer in so we can load awesome. those. Yeah, it'd yeah. be easier that way. <laughs> Nobody has to hoof them. Guys started hoofing them. I'm like, nah, I'll grab them. <laughs> just was taking a minute. Was awesome. I'll help load them, Brandon. Brandon, nice to meet you. I'm nice Chad. To meet My you. friends call me Lucky, and I'm the fortunate Patreon online. All right, awesome. Are you familiar with Patriot Soapbox? No. Just check it out on YouTube. The Patriot Soapbox 24/7 News Network. Absolutely, I'll check it out.
Oops. Because, you know, of course, that wouldn't happen. Tires on top of a cold thing down. I don't know what the deal is yet. Uh, they won't take the tires. I know, we'll have to separate the tires. Okay. grateful to be at this cleanup with Scott Ryan Pressler and to have Oregon Women for Trump here to focus on this kind of issue in the community that people are missing. There's a pile of needles right next to where you go grocery shopping at Fred Meyer every day. It has to stop. Enough is enough. It is. Now we need... You need a hug for that. What's your name? I'm going to add this to the pile because no. I don't have anything to put I need have a bachelor of science out of Portland State. Mm -hmm. what they call harm yeah, harm reduction. They are handing them out to free so that so they don't get reused, but who's going to use them? This is insane. <laughs> Danita, do you have the sharps bucket? Well, the thing is, is yeah, gotta, is we got we found a pile of these over yeah, here. Yeah. We chose the right field to clean up. Right? Yeah. Here. Well, when I drove by it this morning, I thought this is where we've oh, got to go well, because it's, yeah. it's yeah. the capital. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, I got boots. Yeah. No. Tough. Is that one full? <laughs> yeah, it's full of blood, actually. Jesus. Okay. I want you to leave this pile. I want Fox News when they come to oh, that's see call. this, and I want that's them to see it yeah. as it was left. Yes. Please. Yeah, okay. So yeah. let's leave this uh, here so nobody knows yeah. to, to yeah. step around it. Yeah. Why, yeah. why don't we actually our kids are playing surround it? We need to yeah. Put and imagine on. animals and, yeah. and other things. Right. I mean, it's well, and there's a there's actually a park connected to here, Scott, where people walk through. Their kids come through this to cut through to the park. So they could, I mean, and they easily could step, step on that on easily, go easily. through their foot. Think about yeah. this summer when everyone's wearing flip flops, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's and this grass doesn't get mowed; it doesn't get That's touched. I used to walk my dogs around. This city property. Look, look at the, look I, city I'm property, John. To death. This th this is actually uh, private? I think looks like private, private property. property. So the I think the, uh, this is private sue property. Me. What's your... <laughs> I'll, I'll take the ticket. They can yeah. lock me up. Right? Yeah. Cleaning it up. I'm sure they're going to actually. If that happens. Please film it. Right? Yeah. Oh, film them. Oh, oh, yeah. Film them, bring me away. That's, that's what we'll do. <laughs> yeah, please um, surround this with something so people know not to I'm step. Gonna put this in. Hey, I'm going to put this on When do you expect them? Do they give you a timeline? No. Let me... Um, Underneath the bucket. They said they'd give my number to the producer. Should have saved the bones. Uh, I have the wants, bones in here. Fox News yeah, yeah. That, but what I'm saying is that we have that we found uh, oh, is gift that cards, what? credit cards in there. Oh yeah. So we'll give them to the city of Salem so they can reconnect them to if there's stains on them. Yep. Mm -hmm. we'll connect them. They got them. They got them. Yeah. Terminated yeah. by now. But yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys want the bones? What are the bones? They're in his bag. Well, I mean, dead dog. dog? Yeah, Ken said so. It can all go to the it's dump. Big. I, it, it's, it's big. It was a big dog. Where is it? That's a. Sh well, yeah. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Oh well, then yeah. We'll okay. Well, we'll take it to the dump. It's in the bag along with some fur, I think. So. So That's multiple people's IDs, a pile of needles, a dead dog. That we think is a dog. Well, it's probably not a person. Ken, what do you think? Was it a dog? I think it was a dog. You yeah. think it was a dog? Yeah, there, yeah, no there were no hooves on it. No femur bone either. Was it look? It was small enough. It wouldn't be. There's no. Yeah. I said no hooves on it. No, either. no, no hooves either. <laughs> so it must have been a dog because of the ridge. Well, was that just like sitting right there, yeah. the big pile? Is it still there? Yeah, go? they want us. Uh, oh, they put it on top of it. I was like, I was like, he uh, wants uh, Fox News to film it. Yeah. I should have. I found tons of them like that. 
but I got rid of it. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. I should have. Well, you know, we don't. We Add it to the pile. <laughs> I'm going to show this to addicts. It, yeah. At Hazelton Betty Ford Foundation. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Out of Good. Portland State. Good. They, that's their idea of harm reduction. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, I know. Outside in and all that. My son's a wonderful police officer. Absolutely. State of Oregon is this little spot right here. A very tiny, small percentage. But look, in just a matter of what, an hour? Two hours, not even, you guys? Look how much we've done. All of this is now going to be eliminated from the landscape just because people decided that America was already great and they were going to keep it great by making it beautiful. There you go. There you go. Right. You're eloquent. Oh, right there. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> right <laughs> oh, Brags it. Got lots of friends over there. Oh, you can see that on there. I love it. All right. So, where the heck is the dump site? Because when we go down the road, got it? Oh, yeah. we want to make sure it's not going to well, be like... It's not going. This is a needle hot spot for you. More needle? Yeah, oh yeah. It is. Um, up to you. I don't know how you want to sit up and film it, but this is the up pile right here. It's kind of snare it. Oh, wow. Found already. Okay. Yeah. So you've got your collection, then you've got that natural kind of depository that they were using there. Yeah, this is the, what we've collected so far, but this pile we came up on. This was sitting like that here in the middle of the field where they said, you know, people, you know, walk through here, travel through here. I mean, imagine, you know, stepping on that, walking into it. It's just there, huh? Well, one of them, yeah. And then also inside of this red um, container right there. How are you guys cleaning it up? Uh, we're, we have um, grabbers oh, we're going yeah. to use to make sure that we're putting them in the sharps container so we are not touching yeah. them. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> and so kind of the plan right now is that just you know is um we're starting with this field we're probably going to go to the overpass under okay. there in a little bit okay um and we're just sitting kind of here so i guess okay. just to you we see a video of people who put it up cool and, uh, is there anybody specifically who wants to talk would you want to chat um, I, I definitely like to talk and then also the gentleman with the truck Women for Trump. She brought me into town, yeah. and I want to give her an opportunity. Yeah. Pick those up and put them in the container. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's I figured so if I, gross. I know. I have. I figured I'll be des the designated one since I. Everybody already knows me. Yeah. <laughs> Will you, by the way, at the rally when we got hurt? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I, text, I just texted you back. I said, okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I, I wish. I've not missed a rally. I walked them all. Okay. <laughs> Were these just laying here just yeah. like that? Yeah, just in a pile. Wow. Well, at least they're in a pile. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. They were hidden, though. <laughs> yeah, the grass grows over them. I have a lot of uncles that are on drugs oh. and a lot of cousins that are on drugs and a lot of the, sorry Brendan, a lot of the drugs come from, <laughs> here in Oregon they come from Mexico because it's a quick trip from, I figured some of them could can come from Canada because it's, you know, it's that's right here too. Yeah, so. I think that it's harder to cross <clears throat> two straight two states or a, a whole state before you get here there's a lot of drugs in, in northern cal and it's not patrolled as much as the i-5 is not patrolled down in the south as it is here up yeah but, um they're always asking me how can you assume that and i said well then the news is lying but all the drugs coming in they get caught <laughs> yeah those 40 uh, drug traffickers, illegal drug traffickers that were caught, how long ago was that? About two months ago? They were caught here and... Uh, what were they moving? They were moving everything, everything. Oh, okay. But then they started connecting them that they're, you know, they all have families and then they had girlfriends that had ch multiple children and these women were keeping the drugs behind in their homes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. 
they were keeping the drugs uh, behind the, the, the stoves and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, that story just kind of disappeared. Well, uh, Bonamici, she represents yes. that her husband is the, is the, is the judge. The judge that uh, so heard that uh, Obama support, nominated the judge. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So they kind of slipped it under the table. It just feels like, you know, the, it, it's a, it was a sensational thing <laughs> now and then it's gone. And now we can't find it hardly any information. There's nothing. You can't find anything. Do you think it's because people are afraid of being xenophobic? Or being pegged as xenophobic? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Or racist. Yeah. I mean, not xenophobic, but racist for sure. Because while well, they're Mexican, they're illegals. That's just, you're, you're attacking a race. But that's why... I don't allow that. I don't. I, that's why I push against that. You know. Yeah. And it's not just you know. That's the first thing that you think of are Mexicans. Mm -hmm. that, you know, our game in the system. Mm -hmm. But it's not just Mexicans. It's Chinese game. But and it but it depends Middle on the East. city. In Salem, it's it's Mexicans. Yeah, it's illegal from Washington Mexico. County, it's, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. You go sit in a courthouse. Washington County, uh, Multnomah County, Polk County. Uh, for sure, Marion. Marion County. County. You go through who's been arrested for drugs, and they have a Hispanic surname, and I guarantee you, they're illegal. Yeah. Okay. So I heard there was like 20 over here. They were right here. Uh, they picked them up. Did he? Did Carol go over there? She's with Scott right there, I think. Should be anyway. Oh lordy, got another pile of them, huh? Yep. Oh, nice haul. Isn't that right? Nice haul. Oh, look, he's there. You have to be careful, though. Oh, I'm, I'm being patient. I'm just, I don't want to use my mom. My mom would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a bag, <laughs> quick. Oh. Give me a bag. This might be the most toxic thing here. Oh, nice. Is that a diaper? Oh, yeah. Oh, we found one, too. Oh, I picked up a container before I realized it was a poo container. Luckily, I didn't get anything on me. What? Yeah, we're going to do one over there by the way. It's on the other side. Thank you, sir. Yep. I'm Nick, by the way. What's your name? Brandon. Hey, Brandon. My hands a mess. Yeah, I'm some, so is mine. <laughs> nice to meet you. When they run out of heroin, they just snip you for markers? Yeah, yeah, it's like, why would they come all the way the markers. I think it's just that they probably sleep through the night. The night they just come all the way Yeah, if, you, if yeah. you go and you can get covered, you know, you go and you're just looking straight down. There was a couple yeah. good spots in between the fence, too. Uh -huh. where you have or they cut through here to this neighborhood. Ah, that's a good point. Yeah, someplace within a modicum of privacy. Yeah. See, in, in West Salem, off of the 22... There's a homeless encampment over there, and you can't see them because the, it, the road is closed, and the only people that would see them is you're driving by the 22, and nobody's paying attention, fast. super fast, you're not paying attention. Yeah. But you hear, you know, there's a car that sits there, and we've tried, but nobody will do anything because, you, you know, there's nothing, you know, until something really bad happens. You know, we've had to put cameras in front of our, our front door, yeah. our driveway. Yeah. Um, I had, in the, you know, one night, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I think it was about 2 o'clock in the morning, I had a, we had a guy come up to the door, backpack, yeah. hoodie, and he walks up like this to our door, looks at the camera, and walks right back. <laughs> That's scary. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I think there's a park right there. Huh. But if you ever want some more information on that, you let me know. Okay. Reach out to me and I'll... I'll provide that to you. And what's your uh, what's your Twitter? I'm uh, I'm the real JPBX2. 
the real so JPP. nice to meet other people in your life that use Twitter. Yeah. Because all my friends. I got kicked off there the other day. I got kicked off of there the other day. You did? Oh, shit. Mine was uh, Brandon Brown 503. Before that, it was Muffin Pan 503. Mm, I don't remember. Wow. I, it wasn't until President Trump, um, actually, but it's been a year. He encouraged us all to be on Twitter. And we're like, all right. Yep. We'll yeah, I it. got on Twitter the day after you got elected. That's awesome. Yeah. I do a lot of Facebook. Oh, uh, um, Facebook's always. I don't like yeah, Facebook. Facebook. Because, well, it's because I go, I'm, I'm lengthy. I put a lot, I put, you know, I'm, yeah. a, very con I'm a little controversial, not a little, I'm very <laughs> controversial, <laughs> I'm very controversial, I, uh, but I'm also a Polk County GOP chair. Okay, yes. gotcha. May I take a picture of her needles? Yes. We got Is that a router? We broke into a house. Yeah. That's what... It's a router, so um, they had to have, you know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have people driving from, we have guys from Idaho. I know, I just met hours. a couple of them. I know, yeah, yeah that's, that's a haul. Awesome. You know, and they're a fairly conservative state. They're here helping another state that needs a lot of help. Um, Scott Press, they're so what day, for their state right now too. what day is today? Today is the 25th of January. Are you okay? Look out for the groundhogs. I just stepped on something super crunchy. Crunchy? Glass. Syringe. How's that? Boom. Look at that. Yeah, and your title? Uh, founder of Oregon Women to Trump. Tell us about that. Uh, today is an awesome event that we created in November, actually. Um, it's a... Uh, coincides with Scott Pressler being here and we had a voter registration event in Wilsonville uh, great turnout had a blast learned how to register Republican voters and then we decided we wanted to pick up garbage we were gonna go to Portland but um, we actually will be going to Portland but after this so we decided we come down to Salem found some garbage and here we are great event yeah talk about what you guys Picked up we picked up a lot of tires, uh, papers, uh, needles, uh, toilet paper, um, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And why? Why are you guys doing this? We're doing it because we should, and because we can, and because it's who we are. We want to help. We want to help make a difference. Um, we want to clean up Oregon. Um, and actually, Scott wants to go across America and clean up America. And if we can be part of that, that's what Oregon Women for Trump does. And um, I guess uh, you're talking about you're going to do it in Portland? Yes. Um, any specifics on that? Or um, no. Is there, is there a reason why you didn't go? Um, well, we, we were going to go there, but uh, the areas that we were going to, we went down last night because we wanted to, or yesterday, to take some pictures of it before we got there. Mm -hmm. And Portland was already cleaned up. So uh, we know that in the last couple days, last three or four days, there's been massive, massive cleanup down there. There's dumpsters everywhere. There's been crews out. Um, sidewalks have been power washed. Um, why that happened, I don't know. I can only guess. Yeah. Um, but um, it's cleaned up, and we decided, well, let's go down to Salem. There's garbage down there, so we ended up here. Yeah, and um, you guys are, are you guys going to the overpass too? I heard. Yeah, yeah I actually think there might be some people over there. I'm not sure, but we yeah. will we will make sure to ask the. Um, the homeless people over there, uh, if that's okay, if we can pick up the garbage around there because that's their area and we don't want to disturb them. So we, out of respect, we'll ask them if we can do that. And going forward, what's the plan for Oregon Women for Trump? Oregon Women for Trump has a lot of things planned for 2020. Every event we have, we do a lot of rallies, we do meet and greets, we do fun things, we do all kinds of things. We get behind uh, America First candidates like Joey Nations and Paul Romero. And um, we will, at every event that we have, we will have voter registration at every single event. <laughs> and we will be promoting that all around the way. And there'll be more cleanups too. There'll be much more cleanups, definitely. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. And people want to become involved. And if this is what they want to do, then we can do this. We can do it, and we will. Yeah, taking action is kind of your... Taking action is what we're, you know, Oregon Women for Trump is known for being movers and shakers. Um, uh, in the grassroots of Oregon, and that's what we do. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, 
No, I'm just really happy to be here and see all these patriots doing this on a Saturday afternoon. What do you say? Thank you to Scott Pressler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Scott Pressler. It was kind of funny how he got here. It's like somebody had mentioned on Facebook they wanted Scott Pressler here. And I just said, well, let's bring him. And I just made a phone call, and he said, when? And yeah. here he is. So that's pretty cool. Right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. You're great. First name Scott, S-C-O-T-T, -T, last name Pressler, P-R-E-S-L-E-R. -E and your title? Uh, conservative activist. Okay. Tell me what's going on here. Uh, well, we're here in Salem, Oregon. I was uh, asked by the Oregon Women for Trump to uh, come to the community. They need a little bit of love and attention. And so we're here uh, surrounded with uh, 100 conservatives here today just to show stop talking, start doing. You care about the environment. You care about making a change. And that's why we're here. Yeah, tell me what you guys picked up today. Uh, I think the biggest thing that people really need to zero in on is the amount of needles that we found here. Uh, this is an open field uh, right next to businesses and, and housing and supermarket and um, I'm sure this is a traveled location so we want people to understand the, the epidemic here of um, needle usage and um, opioids and hopefully that's something that we can bring a, a bigger platform to. Yeah, and just, just you know, organizations, people just getting kind of involved. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Stuff like this. And, you know, and, yeah, this is a can-do attitude. This is the American spirit. This is um, average citizens coming together on a Saturday um, for free to pick up trash. And I think if we did this all across the country, we could really transform our nation. And uh, talk about, uh, I guess, Oregon Trump. Did they reach mm -hmm. out to they reach out to you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so they reached out to me, and of course, um, my biggest thing is not only I've been to Baltimore, Chicago, Los Angeles, Houston. In 2019, we picked up over 105 tons of trash, and uh, also I'm very focused on. Sorry, okay. I'm very focused on a voter registration. So I want people to know that if you want to have a voice in our government, then you need to vote and you need to register to vote your current address. And that's one thing that we did here in uh, Wilsonville. We did a voter registration training as well. So I'm trying to make a difference. Try to show trying to make a change. Too. Be the change you want to see in the world. My shirt says, stop talking, start doing. That's all I want. You know. Um, don't just be pious on Facebook and Twitter. Go out and do something positive and fun. And uh, these people, you know, we're, we're not family, we're not blood, but we came together today as family to do something good. And uh, last question, just kind of going forward. Let's, let's, uh... Oh, I got plans. Yeah. A week from today, I'm going to be in San Francisco, California, and I'm going to Boston. I'm going to Detroit. Uh, I want to take this nationwide and show whether you're on the East Coast, the West Coast, and Texas, that we all have a responsibility to clean up in our own backyards. Anything else you want to add? Uh, my website is scottpressler.org, um, and, and please to everyone out there, I was a dog walker. That's how I got my start. And imagine, if I could start walking dogs and make nationwide change to clean up trash, then the people at home, I want them to know that they are powerful and that they can make a difference by stepping up. Thank you. Cool. Um, do you have a card or anything, Zach? I, I don't. Okay. Do we have any idea where we'll be able to, to watch this? Um, it'll definitely be on the 10. Uh, I think 10 p.m.? Might, yeah, I think we might try to get the 5, but I'm not 100% sure. Cool. So it just depends on the day. Okay. Yeah. okay. It'll definitely be on the 10 o'clock. Awesome. Well, thank um, you. Yeah, it'll probably be online. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, Thanks thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He wants to do a video with us all, so. I'm not good with video, but... Jim, but you know, the, the big thing is that you said exactly what's wrong. Right? It's impacting your personal life. You're seeing your fence torn down. You're seeing drug problems. You're thinking about the safety of the community. I don't mean to be crude, but there was a young homeless lady doing her business out here with customers at one point, too. Uh -huh. She got rather upset when I asked her to move on and threw a bunch of trash in the yard. You know. So it gets to be a real problem. Yeah. And again, you know, I feel really sorry for the homeless. A lot of them are veterans, and we need sure. to help them. But uh, this uh, this doesn't help. Them. No, no, it, it doesn't. And that's that's kind of what we want to talk about a little bit is what we're finding out here and what's going on. Yeah. So I appreciate you coming out and wait, flagging us down. You well, know? No, I, I was curious. My wife 
Oh, He's like, what the hell is going yeah, on? Yeah, well, he saw... She, <laughs> he saw... She said, she, she Everyone's thought, pointing cameras at you, okay? Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. She said that she thought some some of the shirts said something for Trump. And I said, wait, that's got to be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Now, this and is, they're picking up trash. This is, this is the main... This is the, the big thing I want to say. You know, <laughs> just really quick here. So, Jim, introduce yourself. Well, I'm Jim Ford, and uh, I've lived here for about 15 years. As I told you a little bit ago, we've been having problems all that time. Uh, you know, one of the things that, that I was going to mention to you, uh, we have not replaced this fence because we were told uh, by the guy that mows the field for the owners mm -hmm. that they were going to come in here and do a bunch of work and replace all these fences. Mm -hmm. So I've been holding off on spending the money, but apparently they're not doing anything with it yet. I don't know why. You know, and that's the problem that we're seeing in these undeveloped parts of our community. Supporters like Mr. Ford here are having to deal with unlimited amounts of trash, needles that are clogging up not just the park, but an open area that people travel through here to get to the park. And so I want to show the crowd that's behind me here. Everybody say hi. 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 And so, Oregon Women for Trump, Mr. Scott Ryan Pressler came out all the way from Virginia to be here. This is a huge deal. And Mr. Ford, you have to realize you've got national attention, you've got everyone here, and you saw us and came out on your own to say thank you. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. The only other thing I'd add to that is I hope this impeachment farce is over soon. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Hey, that's why you're my supporter, right? <laughs> All right. Everybody say bye to Mr. Ford. Bye, Mr. Ford. Thank, Thank you again. Thank, Thank you. Again. Hey, it was really, I'm so glad to finally too. meet you in person. Yeah, she. Thank you. Yes. And I hope we're doing some uh, anti uh, Oregon legislature stuff against this Second Amendment takeover they're trying to do. You know, the, the biggest thing that you have to remember is that as a federal candidate, we can federally preempt any kind of firearm bans. Yeah. We can stop them from, in, you know, really banning any type of gun in Oregon with a federal preemption clause. And we, and we can also get constitutional carry done. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, we need that. It's huge. You know, I, it's getting to the point where I go very few places anymore without my you know, being retired out there to even permit. So, yeah. But, uh, well, it's, yeah, it's just getting crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's getting crazy. Oh, it is. And Are we working on sanctuary city ordinance for yeah. gun rights? So the Marion Marion County uh, actually failed with theirs. It would be really smart for Marion County to copy what Polk County and some other counties did. Yeah. Uh, the, the commissioners have been kind of uh, weak on that, actually. Yeah. And the problem is that you know, not to get overly political about it, but I think uh, Portland and Eugene seem to run the state, and that's really not a good thing. I'm a Portland person, and believe it or not, there's a lot of us Trumpers in Portland. Well, you know, I think it's voter I think fraud. I think, I think it's true. voter fraud, to be honest. I think that's true. So we're supposed to go do a little photo by the truck? Okay. okay. So we're out of here. Okay. Okay. We went down around and under the bridge and back up the other side. Spending Did you a lot already? Yeah. So here, here's what we need then. Um, are you going to back this out? We're, we're, yeah, he's going to turn it around and pull so it out there. If, with your permission, what I'd like to do is gather it together, gather all the trash next to it. Oh, yeah. I see that. Photo, and then we'll disband. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I'll yell that out. Save your voice. Yeah. Hey, everybody! Your attention! We're gonna gather up over here for a nice photo op with the trash truck, and then we're gonna everyone's gonna thank Mr. Scott Pressler and Carol, and then we're gonna get the heck home. Good job, everybody! Yeah. Woo. So, where's the March for Life started at? Now, March for Life's at the Capitol if you want to go there, and so I think it's still got a little bit of time left as well. But we're gonna get that to the dump on time. Can we do a round of applause for? Yeah. Woo. So everybody meet by the red car, and then we're gonna take a photo with all the trash. Okay. okay. So we're all gonna go over there and walk that way now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's not a needle, is it? No, no. When I went over to talk to Mr. How are you? Thank you. Nice to meet you. We love your husband. You guys have a good one, Miss Ford. Yeah, they've been uh, yeah. all of mine for a long time, and he, he came out and he goes, is that, is that Nations? Me, Jim Ford. 
We love the community. It's big out here. So thank you for no, helping us you know, bring all these people together. It's a great way to meet people doing stuff like this. And it's fun. It is fun. We're going to follow him to the dump. I'm, I'm going to pay for that. And we're going to do, we are going to send you a picture of the total weight. Thank you. That's and what we'll I do like a little video that says, you. you know, we picked up several thousand pounds of garbage here. So we'll, we'll add to your total. I don't know what your total is now, but it's got to be pretty high. <laughs> From last year, 105. 105. All right, well, we're, we're going to add Minus the last Baltimore cleanup, which I still haven't gotten numbers on, so it's actually more than that. Nice. Well, just the fact alone, I mean, the, the number of needles versus the straws thing really kills me. Yeah. We just banned straws in Oregon, <coughs> but needles galore. Well, that's awesome. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Because, like, the needle, we actually can donate. We actually do a... No, I am not a cheap date. <laughs> I'm a trashy date. Trashy date. You gotta hose right. me down yeah. after we're done. <laughs> How was your day, Mr. Brown? It was good. I good. enjoyed it. Yeah, I was. I thought about going to the March for Life instead of swinging by here, but I was like, I gotta finish that. <laughs> well, it turned out perfect that you know it would be right here, and yeah, it, just, it seemed like this was our place meant to be. Yeah, and then we met that Ford guy. I know. <laughs> what a sweet man. Yeah. And, and that's brave for him, you know, because I'm sure he never has spoken up like that. So for him to take that, that And to be moment, okay with us recording and everything. Because, yeah, it wasn't just one of us. This was like 19 people. <laughs> so you're going to a walkaway thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's I'll cool. be working with Brandon. Um, this is my first uh, town hall with him. And that's uh, a week from today, San Francisco. And then uh, we'll do it with Blair White, and we're going to talk about why, just because of your gay, uh, of your sexuality, you don't have to vote Democrat based on your yeah. sexuality. And uh, the same thing for color of your skin, gender, whatever. Yeah, well, I, I want to take people out of the box. Yeah, the people that automatically show up to a thing like this is awfully white. It would be nice to see a little shift, you know? But yeah. It's not like that's by design or anything. You well, know? Oregon is probably a little bit more whiter than other states, so but that's okay. doesn't have to do anything to do with that. Yeah, okay. Brandon's a funny guy. I think you'll enjoy that. Oh, sorry about that. I'm trashing it in the family. Sorry about that. Oh, God. we see everybody. Smile. Cheese. Right, Liberty. USA. I need the people next to the trash to kind of duck a little bit. I think we need to get a picture. <laughs> I need to get a picture of everybody too. Yeah. yeah. All right. I want to get your picture in your bird. There. Now I'm back. In the middle. Brace yourself. <laughs> you to switch you're on video mode yes okay let's do one last final one two three we love four okay. 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 we love you we love you we love you so one two three we love Trump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just I'm just kidding. 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 I'm just kidding.
All right, hold on. I got to back up a little bit. Hold on. All right, ladies. All right, they're waiting for a turn. One more, one more. Good. One more, one more. Good job.